He is known for his philosophically pessimistic and fatalistic view of human existence. He is recognized for his advocacy of antinatalism and his inspiration from Arthur Schopenhauer. His name is Peter Wessel Zaff. Peter Wessel Zaff, a multifaceted figure hailing from Norway, was not simply a philosopher, but also an author, artist, lawyer, and mountaineer. Influenced by the ideas of Arthur Schopenhauer, Zaff developed a philosophical perspective that was characterized by pessimism and fatalism. He firmly believed in the concept of antinatalism, advocating that bringing new life into this world was an error. Zaff's profound insights into the futility of human existence were encapsulated in his renowned essay, The Last Messiah. This thought-provoking piece served as a condensed version of his most esteemed work, the untranslated philosophical treatise known as, On the Tragic. In, The Last Messiah, Zaff delved into the depths of human consciousness, questioning the purpose and meaning of life. He explored the inherent contradictions and limitations that plague human existence, leading to his pessimistic view of the world. Zaff's philosophical concepts were rooted in his observation of the human condition, highlighting the absurdity and hopelessness that permeated everyday life. His ideas resonated with many who grappled with existential questions, providing a framework to understand the profound complexities of human existence. Despite the somber nature of his philosophy, Zaff's contributions to the field of philosophy were significant. His writings sparked intellectual discourse and challenged conventional beliefs, encouraging individuals to confront the harsh realities of existence. Peter Wessel Zaff's introspective journey into the depths of the human psyche continues to captivate and inspire seekers of truth, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of philosophical thought. Peter Wessel Zaff, a renowned philosopher, delved deep into the human condition, unveiling a profound paradox that lies at the core of our existence. He believed that humans possess an innate skill that surpasses nature's design. This skill is our insatiable craving for justification, particularly when it comes to the mysteries of life and death. However, Zaff argued that this existential need cannot be satisfied by nature, leaving humanity in a state of perpetual dissatisfaction. According to Zaff, the tragedy of our existence lies in our relentless pursuit to escape our own humanity. We spend our lives trying to deny our true nature, desperate to find meaning and purpose in a world that inherently lacks it. This paradox, he contended, is at the heart of the human experience. In his seminal work, The Last Messiah, Zaff elucidated four primary defense mechanisms that we employ to evade facing this existential paradox. These mechanisms serve as shields, protecting us from the overwhelming truth of our condition. They allow us to continue living our lives, albeit in a state of denial. Recently, on the occasion of the 65th birthday of the esteemed philosopher Herman Tonneson, a book titled, I Choose the Truth, a dialogue between Peter Wessel Zaff and Herman Tonneson, was published. Tonneson and Zaff had been acquaintances for many years, having studied together at the University of Oslo alongside Arne Naz. Zaff's philosophical insights, although profound and often unsettling, offer us a unique perspective on our daily lives. They remind us that our constant pursuit of meaning and justification may be futile in the face of an inherently meaningless existence. By acknowledging this paradox and embracing our humanity, we may find a path towards a more authentic and fulfilling way of living. Peter Wessel Zaff, a Norwegian philosopher and mountaineer, had a unique perspective on life. Born into a family with a rich naval history, Zaff found solace and adventure in the mountains. His passion for mountaineering led him to conquer numerous peaks, becoming the first to climb many of them. But behind his adventurous spirit lay a deep contemplation of the human condition. In 1928, Zaff found himself involved in a dramatic rescue mission when Umberto Nobile's Zeppelin, the Italia, crashed. Alongside Roald Amundsen, Zaff assisted in saving the crew, serving as an interpreter for the expedition. This experience left a lasting impact on him, as he began to grapple with the fragility of human existence. Zaff's introspective nature led him to question the meaning of life and confront the existential void. He rejected the label of pessimist, instead identifying as a nihilist. In his own words, he stated, I am a nihilist, namely, not a pessimist in the sense that I have upsetting apprehensions, but a nihilist in a sense that is not moral. His philosophical musings on nihilism and the human condition gained recognition, and in 1987, Zaff received the Honor Award from the Frit Ward Foundation for his literary contributions. Despite living on a state pension, he continued to explore various hobbies, including painting and photography, which allowed him to capture the beauty of the world he saw. Zaff's philosophy may seem daunting, but it offers a unique perspective on how we navigate our daily lives. By acknowledging the inherent meaninglessness of existence, we can free ourselves from the burden of searching for an ultimate purpose. Instead, we can find solace in creating our own meaning and embracing the joys of life, even in the face of its inevitability.
Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.